Thanks, I guess that was directed at me. <laughs> Most late today, sorry about that. But yeah, um, thanks for inviting me. This is actually the first time I've attended a humor speech contest and I had a really great time. I thought everyone did a really great job and the range of topics was just amazing. No one, everyone had a really unique story to share. Mm -hmm. And um, if I were just to give some comments on overall on how everyone did, um, first of all, I think everyone's use of the stage was great. You were telling your stories not just with your words, but with your with your bodies and with uh, different characters. It was really like a storytelling experience. And um, if I would just give a comment for how you might want to change next time, um, I would say it would be to maybe devote a little bit more time to the message that you want to give to the audience. Because I felt like maybe it's because of the time limit. Some people, like, you had a really good, powerful insight that you wanted to deliver. And you could spend more time, maybe, uh, just to explain that in a bit more detail. But overall, I thought it was just wonderful. I had a really great time, and hope you guys invite me back next time, and I'll try to be on time. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know it was, it was going to be you, but anyway, thank you. All right, the next one, let's invite David from PECL. Uh, I have to say, it's a nice, I really made, you really made my night, uh, give me a lot of loving. Um, if I have to say some feedback, I think tonight is all the joke, but all the love story. Why I say that? Because I heard um, the love story from the picky mom and the uh, uh, very cute grandma, and also uh, the money and even the lunchbox. <laughs> yeah, it's all about love, but very funny. So if I can give some suggestion, I think, um, Sterling, I'm really impressed by your speech because you use a very vivid lunch box. I think if you can try to give a more dialogue mm -hmm. from your lunch box, mm -hmm. because I think it's not just a lunch box, it's your baby. Because when you, after a very uh, dangerous accident, and you just, you know, it's very vivid, just like you want to save your baby still on the express. Oh, so it's feel me really touch me. <laughs> yeah. So my suggestion is if you can add dialogue. Okay. So all in all, I think tonight I had a lot of fun. Thank, Thank you. you. Next one, let's invite Jason from NCCU. Thank you. Good evening. I'm Jason Lee from NCCU Toastmasters, and it is also my pleasure to visit Nehu Toastmasters. <laughs> Not until I being here, I didn't know that. Wow, today's contest is I feel like a district level contest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding, or a division level contest, totally. So, what's more, I was feel precious for all the speakers tonight because they present their speech with their life, don't you think so? When Aaron was presenting his story with a uh, running machine, I totally afraid that there's, gonna, there's <laughs> going to be something blooding, <laughs> blooding happened. So a sh startling shell, oh I'm really, sh I'm really sh shocked. Uh, when Starling saying saying that there's a car accident happening, but I'm surprised that you recovered very well now, and I'm happy to see it. What's more, when Starling is saying a story, it reminds, it gives me an inspiration that when some death thing happened, all of his life happened in a short moment, and he saw he came up with his child, he came up with his wife, with all of his life in a short minute. It's, it is really vivid. 
And also, um, when when some speakers are making some jokes, maybe a little bit, a little joke with some um, with some sex intent. Once upon a time, I once upon a time Donald John Trump make jokes to uh, to a correspondent and. Her spokesman, her spokeswoman, uh, defend his president, saying, "Only if your mind was in the gutter would you have thought like that." <laughs> so I remember this. Next time, <laughs> when some people are want to making yellow jokes or uh, some some funny jokes, I will say that only if your mind was in the gutter would you have thought like that. <laughs> it's, a, it's a really uh, a more humble way to express this. And finally, I found that some speakers, they tell many similar stories as their opening. And, well, but their conclusions, what have to, they have to finish their conclusion with a short period of time. This is a, a little bit pity, but all in all, I was, I loved, I enjoyed <laughs> this, all the speech tonight. Thank you very much. Thank you. It sounds like you have a lot to share. <laughs> But you're over time. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to worry about it. I won't be disqualified. <laughs> it sounds like a contestant. All right, next one. Let's welcome Helen Lin from SWOT. Okay, so only two minutes, right? I'll make it faster. <laughs> okay, first, Daniel, where's Daniel? Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. Is there a, yeah. I think he's a very vivid storytelling master. Mm. Yeah. And um, um, just a little thing like in the ending, if there's any twist, for example, like in the end, that, that uh, the girl and the guy, they got married, or <laughs> 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 any twist thing like that, we'll be like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> but it was very, very nervous. <laughs> and then Betty, Betty, yeah. Um, I think our fresh liver, Betty, <laughs> her speech was very humorous. And besides that, she had a really, very great value that she told us, when you face challenges with what? With your smiles, right? So that makes this speech even more, how to say, valuable for the humorous, not just the humorous speech. And then goes to Shannon, Shannon, right? Well, she has so many props. <laughs> and you know when the moon blocks, when the boy comes out, I think, okay, this is going to be a very <laughs> amazing speech. <laughs> and her grandma, her grandma was the, you know, the spirit of this speech, right? And she told us that uh, it's not maybe just the name of fear, but love. Yeah, so thank you, Shannon. And then we have Lydia. Lydia, right? <laughs> you know, I like her facial expression. It was so precise and so cute and her speech tempo pace was very fast and in the beginning I thought oh my, oh my god I cannot catch her I cannot but I was wrong because the story was so interesting so I heard every detail of your speech great job and then we have Aaron A H A D H D I checked that online so yeah I think to you know to reveal the disease to others is already brave enough. But for that after that, you make it humorous speech. So that is even how to say, uh, always amazing. Yeah. And by the way, I think you can be a good dancer. I was so nervous in concentrating your speech because it was us Nervous um, by the time and I was laughing so hard, I was so confused. <laughs> it was an accident, but I was laughing so hard. And I'm so happy that you're recovering everything now, so it's very good for you. And then Sherry, I think your husband is here, right? <laughs> Did you do anything to her? <laughs> and people love to hear stories about marriage. You know, men and women, a lot of them stories. <laughs> Drinking beverage. <laughs> 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 and then that's what that is Amy. Amy, 
Yeah. Oh, the ultimate prop comes out as the NT thousand dollars. Yeah, and then her story was very funny and also have a great value that you have to be rich, not only money, but rich inside. So overall, sorry about the time. I think tonight is very good and then the speech contest was incredible. Naval Toast Map is incredible. Okay, congratulations. Jason's now we have second contestants for the judge speech. <laughs> <laughs> Not a disqualified one. Let's <laughs> 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 welcome Mia Ho from BID. It's my honor to be judged tonight, and it's my second time to visit Day Who Toast Mass Club. I think tonight's um, speech contest is really successful. I heard many, many laugh just uh, um, in between the audience. And uh, it's really imp impressive and meaningful speech to me. Uh, because at first, um, it's a, it's a kind of taboo topic. <laughs> uh, for me, at first, I joined the Reality Talks Master. I, I couldn't follow the speaker's uh, speech, uh, speech speed. But tonight, I can follow all of the speech uh, speakers. And I can follow, even though Lydia speaks so fast, <laughs> but just like um, our judge said, we, we could follow up your details because the, the story is really, really interesting. and. Uh, I think most uh, speakers have a uh, humorous speech. Uh, more, more details, you, you use many uh, tools and uh, many, maybe like notebook, chairs. It's really good to, to uh, help the body language uh, squirt. Uh, but some, maybe some speaker, you, you could focus on the, you could focus on the speech value because, um, for example, uh, if the speech title, uh, we couldn't get your speech point, maybe we, we need to try hard to get the speech value between your body and the conclusion. So maybe you can strong, you can have a strong conclusion, so we will add more mm -hmm. the speech value higher square. So I think it will be better because tonight it's really hard to to distinguish the I think the <laughs> place I I really uh, take many time to uh, so <laughs> 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 get a higher score because I, I love each speaker's speech tonight. So if you can strong make some strong points in the conclusion, maybe it will ma let me easily to choose which will be the winner. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, <laughs> Thank you to reach our time li limit. Now our last judge, I'm here to share. Let's welcome Jason Zin from AOE Elite. Um, it's really hard to be a judge. <laughs> <laughs> I finally understand why whenever the contest time, the area director are always worried about finding a judge. <laughs> okay, uh, I think um, the speech is like a story, and uh, and more important, most important of the all, mm, what's that? The most important thing is like, uh, uh, what did you learn? What did you learn from your story? And some people call it like a core value. And uh, so Daniel. It's just a pity that I know it's an unforgettable experience to you. But if you can tell me what did you learn from the lucky the lucky <laughs> teacher or the next year you become oh and you got a junior schoolmate and you got your Shui Di. What will you teach your young junior mate to avoid the dinosaurs? <laughs> <laughs> if you can tell me please, what did you learn and what did you teach? I think it will be an amazing speech. And uh, let's finale it. And, uh, oh, and, oh, oh, and otherwise, and, uh, I think uh, how to say the slow down. Yeah, um, uh, you know, the, on, uh, the timer only start counting when the first word coming out of your mouth. So you have a brief moment yeah, to overcome the nervousness. Yeah, maybe you can turn your eyes 
eyeballs. Yeah. Or oh, just like Amy. I think Amy she did a good job. She raised her voice. Ladies and and then slow down the everyone. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, to to get all your attractions. Yeah, that's a good way to do. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> to all the speech contestants and all the judge contestants. We will finally move on to the next part. So I will give my control back to our president, Sherry Dong.